Hey guys, today we're going to talk about what happens when we reflect a figure over a line other than the x or y axis. In class we've already looked at what happens if we reflect over the y axis. Um, if you look over here you see that um, triangle ABC reflected over the y axis and our rule down here tells us that um, all of our x coordinates became the opposite and the y coordinates stayed the same when we reflected over the y axis. If you look over this way, we have our x axis reflection, and triangle ABC reflected over the x axis results in um, a triangle where all of the x coordinates are the same and the y coordinates are now the opposites. Okay. Um, and our final one that we saw in class yesterday was what happens if we reflect a figure over the line y equals x. Um, so we drew our line y equals x on here, and then we took each of our, um, our, each of our vertices and we moved them an equal distance from that line of reflection. And we found out that when we, when we did that, we ended up with a rule that tells us that xy becomes um, yx. All right? All right. Um, now let's look at a different reflection. We see triangle ABC, so this original one, was reflected over this red line um, to result in the image down here of A prime, B prime, and C prime. Um, and so we just want to figure out what line was it reflected over. So this line's already drawn on for us. It's a horizontal line. Um, and every horizontal line has an equation of Y equals, and then whatever the Y coordinate is for each of those points. So you can see, like, um, if x is 1, y is 1. If x is 2, y is 1. If x is 3, y is 1. If x is negative 4, y is 1. Um, so no matter what our x coordinate is, our y is 1. Um, so this is the equation of the line that it's reflected over. Quadrilateral ABCD was reflected over a vertical line right here, to result in the image A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So let's find the equation for the line that it was reflected over. Um, it's a vertical line, which tells us that um, our equation is going to take the form x equals, um, in this case, negative 4. Because no matter what our y coordinates are, our x is always negative 4, right? If uh, y is 4, x is negative 4. If y is 2, x is still negative 4 y is 0, x is negative 4. Okay, so every vertical line is going to take uh, a form like this, y, x equals something. Um, so in this case, quadrilateral ABCD was reflected over the line, x equals negative 4. And just take a quick peek here at each of these points, um, like A, there we go, started out 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the left of that line of reflection, so A prime should be 4 units to the right of it. One, two, three, four, and there it is. And you can test that for each of the points. Uh, point C was two units away to the left, so point C prime should be two units to the right of that line of reflection, x equals negative four. Example three says reflect triangle ABC over the line x equals negative one. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw our line on here, x equals negative one. Um, and so remember this, what am I looking here? This is telling us that all of our x coordinates are going to be negative 1. Um, so no matter what our y is, our x oops, is negative 1. Let me just shift this around here. There we go. Okay, so this is the line that we are going to reflect our image or our triangle over. Um, so now we just do like we did when we did a reflection over the um, axes. We just take each of our points and put them an equal distance from that line. So point A was two units to the right of the line of reflection, so point A prime has to be two units to the left. Point C was four units to the right. You can see one, two, three, four, so we're going to go four to the left. One, two, three, oops. That's our C prime. And then B prime was two units to the right, so we need to go two units to the left. And we'll connect all of our points to finish our triangle.
Okay. Now, there's not really a rule that we would write for this one like we did for uh, reflection over the x or y axis. Um, we're just going to say that this is a reflection um, over the line x equals negative 1. And we're done. For our final example, we'll reflect quadrilateral E, F, G, H over the line Y equals negative 1. So first step, I'm going to draw a line where Y equals negative 1 is. And I know that that is going to be a horizontal line that goes through the point negative 1. All right, and now that's my line of reflection. So everything that I draw, from every point from my original quadrilateral has to be an equal distance from that line um, on the opposite side. So let's start with E. I see that it is one, two, three, four points below the line. So now I just simply go four points above it. One, two, three, four. And I put point E prime there. Um, F was one below. So now F prime goes one above. G was three below the line of reflection. So G prime goes three above it. And H was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 below, so we're going to move 7 above. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there's our H prime. Now I just connect my points. And on this one it's asking for the coordinates, so let's see. E prime is negative 6, 3. F prime is negative 3, 0. G prime is negative 1, 2. And h prime is negative 3, 6. So we just reflected quadrilateral E, F, G, H over the line y equals 1. Here are the steps written out. Feel free to add them to your notes if you think that they'll be helpful. Thanks for watching.